Hey guys, Film Photography Friday. I've got my vintage uh, medium format Rolly Flex here, and I've got some pictures at the end of this video that I took with it. I got this kit about eight or ten years ago. Uh, somebody I knew that was into photography, it was her friend's husband that bought this originally. I picked it up then, like I say, eight or ten years ago for 400 bucks Canadian. Let's take a look first at this cool tripod. This is pretty cool. This is a brass uh, tripod and it comes with a ball head. And this came inside the kit as well. And this is a vintage German brass tripod made by W. Kengott. It's very cool. It actually extends out to, I don't know man, like five feet. You can see these guys keep popping out. And they have these little ball bearing detents in them. You can hear that pop, these guys here. Um, and it just keeps going out. I guess that's, let me see, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four sections. And it has these awesome brass feet. One of them is missing on one of the legs which is too bad. But other than that, it's in perfect working condition. Also in this kit, it came with a really cool flash system and battery pack. Um, I'll look at that next here and we can pick it apart. This is the battery pack. And it also came with a whole bunch of instruction manuals. Next up is this awesome Ultra Blitz Matador 1. It's very cool battery pack. I haven't used this yet. I'm afraid it's gonna blow up, although it would make a great video. I'm not sure I wanna to, want to go there. Anyway, let's take a look. Here's the battery pack part. And there's some, I guess, I don't know what these settings are. Again, I haven't, I haven't used this thing. Um, on off switch, I think. That's where you plug it in. Um, then you can pop it open here. You know, I don't think you'd get through an airport with this thing under your arm. There's a plug in here to charge it. Bit frightening. And that's the battery pack. And here is the flash. It's a big honking thing. And you plug this flat flash into the battery pack, it plugs into the side, and you can actually hook this guy up to the battery pack, or you can use one of the flash brackets, and it sits on here, and I'll show you that in a minute, and it hooks up underneath your rolly. Okay, so the flash unit here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a groove here, it's a bit of a slot, and this is the bracket, the flash bracket, and it's got this a uh, little wheel, you tighten it up, this little screw, and it's got some felt between it and the flash. And you just slide that in there, that groove, and you tighten this up. And then you would put your rolly on here. There's the thread, and you tighten that up, and away you go. Plug this guy into your battery pack that's under your shoulder. And you've got lots of, you know, cord to move around with. And away you'd go, you'd be popping this thing off like crazy. It also came with a uh, pretty cool, let's see here, it came with this strap. Now this strap is what you would use if you didn't have the case, if this case was off. And I'll show you how to put that on. Yeah, it also came with instruction manuals. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. More stuff. In this case, and this Rolly Flex happens to be a, whoops, 2.8D, and there's the instruction manual, accessory manual. Uh, it has some flash sync cords and some other cool stuff. We'll pick through this stuff in a second here. It also came with a couple shutter release cables. This one's kind of cool, it's made out of nylon. And this extra long one came with some extra spools. 
It also came with this guide, Rolly Flex and Rolly Cord Guide, uh, which is pretty cool, with special color section. Yeah, baby. By Kenneth Tidings. Pretty awesome. It's an awesome book. And this, this guy here came with it. And I actually have this old um, light meter. Pretty cool. It also came with, and this guy. Looks like a lens cloth. Yeah, a little, little paper lens cloth. Um, this is the actual camera. It's a Rolleiflex 2.8D from the 50s. And there's your manual for it. Original goodness right there. Accessory guide. And this shows how everything works. Your, your lens adapters, or sorry, your filters, your, all your stuff, your hoods. light meter info. I guess this light meter was with it at some point. I don't have it. Too bad. And we'll look at some more stuff here. It came with this Rollykin, which is very awesome. This converts your medium format so it can shoot 35 millimeter film. We'll take a look at that too. This is a bonus and I've used it a couple times. I should use it more really because I've got a ton of 35 mil film. This is called a Rollykin 2.8. And what it does is it converts this medium format Rolleiflex into shooting 35 mil film. And it is very cool. That's it there. Everything made um, by Rolleiflex is crazy good. Quality is insane. This stuff is precision awesomeness. But again, everything's made for Rolly Flex by Rolly Flex is insane quality. Like you just can't find this stuff anymore, man. I guess that's why it's collectible. Anyway, we'll take a look at that uh, maybe in another video. And a couple of uh, filters. But check this out. Look at the quality. Little little uh, leather case. This is not leatherette. And this beauty hood. What an awesome thing. Now you got that guy, you've got a couple filters here. Again, made in Germany. This is a UV filter. And here's the yellow. Didn't come with a red, which I would have liked for sure. But again, look at the quality. Look at this filter, man. Just awesome. Frank and Heideck, Germany, Rolly. Came with some straps. Other straps, I'm not sure what these are for. And another flash bracket. And of course this beast. All right, here it is. This guy here, the 2.8D. And this is the case it came with. Um, there it is comes with this lens cover, which is so cool. You just rotate it and it clips in. And there's the Carl, Carl Zeiss, and that's a 2.8, and that's an 80 mil. On a medium format, that is approximately 50 mil, I believe. And so there's that guy. So what? how you get this out, there's these clips here on the Rolly Flex. I don't know if you can see that. You pull them out and they slide out from here. One on each side and that's also how you attach the strap. So I'll pop this guy out. Some of the thread is kind of rotten off it or broke. You can see it coming apart there. Uh, not to worry though, I'll get this thing fixed. I'll probably sew it myself. You can see the threads coming out there. Um, but yeah, that's the case. And there's the, the camera. So this is the Carl Zeiss Planar 2.8, amazing lens. You want bokeh, this is the machine. You've seen these before, I think, but this is mine, and this will be featured in 
This will be featured on this channel. This is a beauty. It's very mint. There's no dings in it. Gently used for sure. And I'm lucky to have it. It's got no film in it now. But it will soon. Clicks in beautifully. And this guy snaps in over top. That's something cool. Amazing stuff. I love that you can just lock this in. So once your exposure is adjusted for the light you're in, you can just easily crank it up or down and the f-stop will coincide with the shutter speed. Awesome feature. Of course that goes up. That's your viewfinder through there. So here's that strap we looked at earlier. And if you don't have the case on it, the leather case comes with its own strap. Um, these guys fit in to these side rails. And I'll show you how that works. Basically you just lift up these little hooks. I don't know if you can see that. These slide up and down. So basically you open them up, hook it over this tab, it locks in and then you push them down and this piece of metal locks in underneath on this rail and it's not going anywhere. Cool feature but this thing's mint as well. I don't think it was ever used. Anyway, let's dress this thing up and uh, wrap it up. Ooh, the ball head and this tripod makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> 